So you have a real estate photography business or you're thinking about starting one and you're not 100% sure on what your prices should look like or really what packages you should offer and what services should go into each of those packages. Well, in this video, I'm gonna really give you a behind the scenes look into my photo business, Norman & Young, where we currently do between three and 4,000 real estate shoots per year. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we price our services. Now, the really important thing to keep in mind here is that every market can have a different pricing range. So what I'm gonna show you is what we price our services at in Texas, which is a pretty middle ground market. So if you're in an area that is less in terms of housing prices or income than DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth, you could go a little less than this, or if you're in a really high end area on the coast or in Florida, anywhere like that, you could potentially go a little bit higher. And I'll show you actually how to figure out what the market rate is in your area. I just wanna start with specifically how we price our services. So here's the actual live order form at my business, Norman & Young. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have three main packages. Now we found that if you wanna get the highest AOV or average order value, which is a metric you should absolutely look at. It's out of all of the shoots you did this month, how much revenue did you make and what is the average you got paid per shoot? We call that number average order value or AOV. What we found is that that number will be higher if you offer package services rather than just all a la carte services. But the catch here is that you need to have an online ordering system to make that work. And so the online ordering system that we use is called Spiro, and this is a setup version of that. But you can see we have three main packages. Our base package is $195 and our middle package is $365. And as you can see, our most expensive package is $825. Now we put some real thought into what's in in these packages and so you can see here our base package is just these three things it's our minimum photo package six drone photos and a floor plan with room measurements the idea here psychologically with the packages is that we want people to order one of these three packages we don't want them to scroll down and order anything a la carte like just base photos so you can see that our 25 photo package is 165 the goal with this base package is to catch people that would normally order that base package and just bump up the average order value a little bit now this middle package it says most popular this is actually our most popular package. It's $365, and here's what it includes. A slightly larger photo package, 12 drone photos, some more drone photos, a Zillow 3D tour, and a basic floor plan with room measurements. And we priced that one at $365. Now, what you'll notice is that you could order these services individually. If you did, it would be more than $195. So they're saving a little bit of money by ordering a package as well. Same with this one. It's probably going to be closer to $400 something, and this one is closer to $950. So ordering a package not only helps bump up the amount they pay us for that shoot, but it also gives them a discount and more services. So the vast majority of our clients are going to order this package. And then for really big listings, this is kind of like everything. It's our top package. You can see we charge $825. Now, to give you an idea about what we charge for our specific services, because this will probably be an easier way to tell how much you should price your services, our 60 photo package is $235. It is not based upon square footage. We've tested a lot of different models and we've just found that pretty much across the board, not just for us, but also for a lot of the people we work with in coaching that they just make less money and have more complexity with square footage pricing. It all kind of evens out, right? Sometimes you shoot a house that looks like this, that's you know 15,000 square feet and you're like, dang, I wish I would have charged a little more. But then other days you shoot a small condo like you can see on the right here and you're like, man, I really got paid well for that. So it evens out and it makes your pricing very simple. So. As far as pricing for photos goes, that is how we currently price things. Then moving on to additional services. We have a couple of different smaller packages, like a 10 to 15 photo packages, usually for rental listings. We have what we call a 2020-20 package. This is for builders or companies that are renovating. And the package includes 20 before photos, 20 construction photos, and then 20 after photos. This package also includes a social media reel at all of those stages and then a floor plan. And they could just order 20, 20, 20 photos. This is, we do a lot of builder clients. That is why we have that. And you can see how we price that here. Drone photos, we price this kind of as a loss leader. If you're familiar with that term, it just means like a cheap price to get people in the door. And so we've always had drone photos at 95 and that's how much we price them. And then we have our video services as well. So we have our real social media video. That's our cheapest video at $125. We have a social media video bundle. So what this includes is a 15 second highlight reel. That's a vertical video that's really short. It's like a teaser for social media. Our clients absolutely love that one. We have a full 60 second video. That's gonna be a horizontal video. That's more of like a cinematic video tour. 
Um, and then we offer a walkthrough video, which is basically like a 45 second long version of this that's a little more in depth. And it's all one video, it like speed ramps through the house. So for that package, uh, you can see that we charge 425. And then we offer aerial only video. And then lastly, our two main videos. So a 60 second, this is like the standard bread and butter real estate video here. We charge 250 for this currently. And if they wanna double the time to a 120 second video, we charge 350. Now, we actually recommend, if they ask us, we recommend the smaller one, because this always, the shorter performs better on social media. Nobody sits there for two minutes to watch a real estate video. And so we try to save our clients money where we can, and that helps us build trust. And then a couple other services we offer are Twilight Photos. Those are $195. And that is where we go on location at Twilight. And you can see here, it creates a cool image where you can see the windows lit up really nicely and usually you get a more dramatic sky. We also do virtual Twilight Photos that I believe are $25 per photo. And that's where we take a daylight photo and our editing team edits it to look like nighttime. And those are very popular as well. And lastly, we have virtual staging, as you can see here, and that's where our editor adds furniture to the room. So all of this was added in, and that's a pretty common add-on. I would say it's a little bit more expensive. That's $50 per photo. So usually an agent will do like two or three photos, but that's an overview on our pricing at my photo business, Norman & Young. I'm gonna go back through and you can definitely pause this on anything you wanna look at, but here's the photos going up to our bigger photo package. Lot listing and land packages. We're in Texas, so we shoot a lot of farm and ranch type properties. And then lastly, our three packages. So overall, that'll give you an idea on how we price our services, the actual services that we offer and how we bundle those. There's a lot that goes into doing this well, because if you do it well, your average order value goes way up. And that's like the biggest determinant besides the number of clients you have of how much money you're gonna make. And so if you have a real estate photo business or you just wanna do this right in the first place, I highly encourage you to check out coaching. We'd love to help you set this up step-by-step, step, including how to actually build out Spiro and get it set up so your clients will order and pay you money, which is obviously important. Now, here's what to consider about your pricing overall. What I'm not saying you should do is absolutely just copy our pricing. I think it is a pretty good starting point and it wouldn't go wrong if you did that, but it could potentially leave a lot of money on the table for you. And so here's how I recommend looking at your competitors to determine a market price. Number one is when you actually search those competitors, you only wanna factor in the ones that have listed pricing. If they don't have publicly listed pricing on their website, they're not doing high volume, I can almost guarantee you. The real estate photography businesses that make a lot of money all have posted pricing, and those are the ones that we're trying to figure out the range of. So if they don't have posted pricing, put it away. Number two, the goal here is not just to absolutely undercut them. <laughs> That's not a good way to run a business. In fact, we recommend from day one that our coaching clients be in the top half of the pricing in their area. And as they build their business, they should bump that up. At my business, we're in the top 10 to 20% of the pricing in our area. Really common mistake new photographers make is they go really cheap, like they try to undercut everybody because they think that price is what agents care about. And it is one thing that they care about, but it is a very small thing. So if you think about an agent selling a $500,000 house or a $300,000 house, even their commission's gonna be somewhere between eight and 20 grand in that price range. And you know, at a million dollar house, a lot of times they're making 30, $35,000 in commission. So a $50 difference in price doesn't mean anything for them. They are totally willing to pay 50, 100, 200 more in a lot of cases to have good service, good systems like I showed you there where they can order online, uh, you know, a great customer experience, a company that's willing to act like they're on that agent's team and just overall serve them well, they will totally pay a tiny, tiny fraction more of their commission for that. But the thing that's really true is while that 50 or $100 per order doesn't matter for them, it makes a huge difference for you in your business. Businesses with higher average order value are just better businesses. They're more profitable. The owner makes more money. They're able to pay their staff more money when they grow their business in the future. And it just gives you more margin to build a better business. There's a thing that Alex from Mosey talks about, which I like, which is the vicious cycle of price versus the virtuous cycle. So the vicious cycle is go cheaper. And because you went cheaper, you have to provide less good quality service. And because you did that, you're not able to acquire as many customers, which means you have to go cheaper, less quality service, and it goes around or something like that, right? The, vi the virtuous cycle, the good one is you charge more so you can offer a better service, so you make more money, so you can go find more clients and serve them better, and it repeats in that way. You want the virtuous cycle. You don't wanna be in the race to the bottom. That is not a good way to build a photo business or a business of any kind, frankly. And the last thing I wanna leave you with is when you're determining your pricing, you have to be careful not to overthink this too much. You could spend days and days figuring out your pricing and 
after a certain amount of time, you just sitting thinking about it without data isn't really a good move. And that's how we help our coaching clients determine their pricing is we have a lot of data on what does and doesn't work because we coach a lot of people. And so we basically just tell you, hey, here's what we recommend. And we actually use your profit as a way to determine it. So what I would encourage you to do is number one, check out coaching if you're serious about this. But number two, don't overthink your pricing. Put something out there, see how it works, react to the data, increase or lower your prices based upon that. And most importantly, go get yourself more clients. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.